Hello guys, good day. This is Anna of Reinforcement Club. Today we are going to talk about the law of least effort from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now, according to this principle, human behavior tends to gravitate towards the path of least resistance. Our habits, you know, the automatic things that we do are formed based on the, the balance between the effort required versus the rewards that we can gain out of it. There are three things to consider in the law of least effort. Number one is the our natural inclination, our natural tendency to do things, to get along with people. So natural inclination means people tend to choose actions that require least amount of energy or resistance. So for example, I know in my heart that I love sneakers. I love chocolates with peanuts on in it. So if I ever put a sneaker here beside me, I would immediately grab, grab it without thinking about it. I grab it. In less than five minutes of weighing things, if I even eat it, if I ever eat it early in the morning, even though I know it's still early and I haven't got breakfast yet, a healthy breakfast, and it's full of sugar, I'm going to get hang hungry. Uh, in the middle of the day because it's sugar, I would still do it because I know in my heart I love sneakers and it's just right here beside me. That's just for example. I wouldn't even think twice eating it. The second one is in the law of least effort, the habit or our behavior has to be efficient. Habits become more ingrained when they are easy to perform or required minimal effort. Just like my first example, when you put a, a Snickers chocolate beside me, I will just grab it. I don't have to go to the shop to buy that chocolate. I don't, I don't have to go down to, to the fridge no, to, to find any available chocolate. It's just right here beside me. It's much efficient. You just have to, to, to hold it and open the pack and then eat it without thinking about it, which leads to the third factor conservation of energy. Our brain tends to conserve energy by automating tasks and behaviors that require less cognitive effort. Since I know that Snickers chocolate are my favorites, when you put it, when you ever put it here beside me, I have the natural tendency with all of my talents to grab that chocolate. And it's efficient. I don't have to go anywhere. The second one, efficiency. And the third one, conservation of energy. It's just right here beside me. I don't even have to think about it. No cognitive effort required. Even though I know that I'm going to be hungry at the end of the day because it's full of sugar and it's still early. I haven't got my breakfast, but it's just right here beside me. You know, the balance of effort. That is least, absolutely least effort. And the rewards gained, I know it's going to be a hard time later but it's just right here beside me. It's tempting. In other words, if you want to utilize the law of least effort, it's important to know to, to take advantage of the so-called supportive environment. If you want to be intentional, if you want to be productive, if you want to be healthy, if you want to be active, be intentional about the things that you do. Measure it. And of course, design your environment in the most part. Since I know in my heart that I do love Snickers, chocolate, ice creams, not much of cake. I don't have them at home, but it doesn't mean that I'm a saint. I, I buy them sometimes. I don't do it every day, every day because, of course, I have the natural tendency, natural inclination to, to eat it. It's, it's part of my life, you know, sugar. I love it. And it's much efficient when it's available at home. And of course, it will conserve energy if, you, if I make it available. You know, my favorite, I'm talking about my favorite chocolates and ice cream. But the truth is, since I want to be healthy and I want to feel light in most of my days, I don't want to feel terrible because I, you know, my, my tummy complains about too much sugar at times. So I don't make it available. It's hard to avoid them when they're just beside you, 
when you put a Snickers here beside me. Gosh, it's hard to avoid it. And you know, my hands, it's just automatic. That is the law of least effort. So be intentional. If we want to do something productive, progressive, design your environment. Make your environment favorable to, to your plans, hopes, and dreams in life, to your goals. For example, eating healthy. If you want to have high protein diet, of course, you have to buy vegetables and meat, you know, if you're not vegetarian. But because I'm not vegetarian, that's why I can openly uh, bring this up. Yeah, meats and vegetables, any type of meats available in the fridge. And if you want, and since I want to avoid sugar as much as possible, I only have a puffy cake at downstairs. Puffy cake, which has a couple of around 200 or 300, uh, 400 for in a two uh, medium size, two medium size cake, 400 or 400 calories for the two of them. I do love hot chocolates, but you know, I only, I only have them every two weeks. You know, I have hot chocolate for this week and then the next week. No, I love hot chocolate. You know, I, I know it, it is. It has high sugar contents, and I just mix it, mix it with milk, um, and that that completes my day. But I don't want that hot chocolate. I don't want to cling into that. I don't want it available at home because I love it, and it's not good to have it every day. Well, I I, I have hot chocolate once daily. Sometimes it gets to twice, but you know when I know that I am already too much. To myself, I try to not make it available. I have to do it to three weeks or one month until I forget about it. So that is the power of supportive environment. Healthy eating. So you have to make all the he healthy foods available within your reach. You could make you could if you're a big fan of uh, protein bars, you can make them available at home. So that by the time you decide that you know by the time you you go to the gym. You can just grab a protein bar before you start your workout. Success is walking from failure to failure with no lose of enthusiasm. That's from Church Winston Churchill. So it doesn't mean that you know you plan out to be healthy today. You're going to be hundred percent all the way. You know, following your plans. It's consistency is not about that. We are humans. Our consistency will be up and down, but make sure. That when you said, when you said to do a certain thing every day, you have to do it, whether you like it or not. It has to be done. Another example, you know, exercise routine. You have to, you know, you have to arrange the schedules of your workouts at convenient time and location. So if you want to save gas, you have to, you know, it's important. Well, you could enroll your yourself in in the nearest gym, you know, workout. And since, for example, you're not a morning person, you might as well arrange your at workout time at three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon, or lunchtime. It's up to you. Any time convenient for you. Again, that is the law of least effort. Natural tendency to work out. Efficient, and of course, it helps you conserve energy. So when the gym is just near you, and you have already arranged the time to go to the gym, let's just say uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, gym time, uh, 3 to 4 times a week, so on your day off. So you have arranged that. Plus, make your exercise clothes, your, your athletic attire ready, visible in your room. You just have to grab it and put it in your bag, ready to go. Those exercise attire reminds you to go to the gym. So that is environment by design. And in terms of productivity, you don't have to list the top things to do for today. It makes your, more, your, your brain overwhelmed. It actually uh, makes trouble about the, the law of least effort in terms of energy conservation. Because 
even just merely looking at your top 10 things to do in a day, top 10 things to do, top 15 things to do in a day, you don't even want to do it. You don't even want to look at your list. There's a lot of things. You might as well want to, you know, make your task or things to do smaller, manageable. Make it top three things to do, top five things to do in a day, or top three things or top one thing to do that even you miss all the other other things to do in a day. Once you do the top one, two, or three, it makes your day complete. Just target the most important one, the law of least effort. Natural inclination, efficient, of course, there's only top three things to do, and energy conservation. Save time and energy. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. You don't have to be you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. That is from Zig Ziglar and uh, Mark Twain. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing from Walt Disney. So in other words, the law of least effort emphasizes the importance of making positive habits easy to adopt by reducing the friction associated with them. Reducing the friction. So since uh, I love, I learned to love podcasting, doing the things that I'm doing right now, making contents. My office, this one, this is all I got as of this moment. It's just right beside my room. So I just have to wake up and go inside my space, my deep workspace office, and sit down here and create the content. It's easy. I just have to walk. I don't even think about it. So that's the least, uh, the law of least effort. No friction. In terms of going, you know, avoiding bad habits, yeah, you can do avoid them by increasing the friction. For example, as I've mentioned a while ago, I love Snickers chocolates, but I don't make them available at home. If I ever crave Snickers, I need to go to the shop to go to walk to the shop, which is just five to ten minutes. It's easy, but you know, compared to you know, it's it's a lot of thinking to go to the shop. I feel lazy. Even though I, I love sneakers, it's a lot of effort for me. It's not efficient to go to the shop right now early morning. It's not energy conserving to go to the shop right now. Even later, I prefer to, to drink. I can forget about sneakers if I, if I drink tea and eat some puffy cakes without icing. So by incorporating small changes into your daily routine, an environment, you know, supported environment, taking advantage of it, you can pave the way for long-term success and personal growth. Always remember that in the law of least effort, environment design, environmental design is important. So if you ever love, if you ever love this content today, please share it to your friends and family. You can click subscribe, including the notification button. You can follow me in Facebook, YouTube, Spotify podcast, as well as Apple Podcasts. By the way, this is End of Reinforce Me Club telling you, you never lose, you either win or learn. That's from someone that doesn't came from me. and uh, But I love that quote anyway. Have a lovely day ahead. Bye. <laughs>